back to Speed Freak TV. You know, I love speed. I'm passionate about speed. I think racing and speed and performance cars and everything else is amazing. But you know something, when you're 10 years old, you are not allowed to be out on the road riding a motorcycle or driving a car. So what does a 10 year old do who has a speed addiction? Well, he gets into go-karting. Zachary Clayman DeMello has one of the fastest little go-karts in the Junior Road Tax Series. Now they're racing in the Eastern Canadian Karting Championship, the ECKC. And it's about a six round race. It starts in Ontario, goes to Quebec, comes back to Ontario again. He also does a lot of racing in the United States. So we get a chance to sit down and talk to this young man and find out what makes him tick. I'm 13 years old now. I started racing when I was 10. And we started at a small track and we bought a little cart. And my father thought it was quite decent, so he signed me up for competition. And we started to get good and it just became bigger. I like to race because when I'm in the cart, usually people can tell you what to do in other sports like soccer, the coaches will scream at you. Karting, you're in your own world, nobody can really tell you what to do because you're in the cart and it's up to you. No matter, they can tell you what to do off the track, but it's about you putting it into effect. I'm hoping to get into real cars maybe around next year like kind of IndyCar style, like Skip Barber maybe, and just learn the, the small cars first, and maybe hop into a big car around 15, 16. But for now, I need to drive well in carts to get car sponsorships. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Coming into corners sometimes it's not always gripping. Most of the time it grips because we have a good setup. And um, uh, other than that, it's pretty good in the corners. Sometimes it's rough because some of the tracks are bumpy. Like, here, for example, Goodwood, like coming over the hill, you bump a lot, so it's a lot different than other tracks. I've been in Florida, Ocala, Palm Beach, Orlando, a lot of Montreal racing, some Toronto racing. One of the biggest races so far, I'd probably say, is Vegas. And this year, we're hoping to go to places like Italy, Paris, and maybe Dubai for the World Championships. The main sponsor is my mom. She kind of pays for everything. Without her, there's no racing. She, she keeps the budget together. And the big company is CC Apparel. She runs the company and those are my sponsors. And the lines they carry are Ugg, Vilberquin, and my mechanic Ariel and Clark. Ariel builds the engines. And Clark is the one who really always runs around when we're having trouble and keeps everything together. Because without Clark, the cart would be falling apart. My coach also, Lee Bensom, without him, like none of this could happen. He, he helped me progress through the beginning of my racing career. Zach is a real go-getter. He's got a lot of passion. He's got a lot of seat of the pants feel for what he's doing and uh, he just he goes after everything like a like a dog going after a bone. <laughs> and that's actually a really good thing to have, you know, because we can teach him the finer points of the driving, but really the drive comes from the heart and how bad you want something and that's that's the kind of guy Zach is. When I first saw him, he was a little timid. He was running around mid-pack and, you know, didn't really have any direction. When we started working with him, the, the first thing I think I told him is, you know, a lot of it is up here. It's, a, it's all in the mind and it's, it's about, uh, it, it's, it's just really about thinking about where you want to be, setting a goal and aiming for that goal. And uh, one, one of the things he's really good at right now is his race starts. He's incredibly aggressive on the race starts, he can always gain positions. And the first thing I remember telling him is it's just a game of chicken. All you got to do is play chicken with the guy next to you go in there, do your thing, chances are he's going to back off. And he's done that ever since, and he's continued to grow. Well, I started out very young at about 10 years old and uh, did about 10, 11 years of karting all over the world as well. Moved up to cars, did Formula Atlantic, uh, Indy Lights, tested Indy cars as well. So I have a lot of experience with open wheel. And uh, I, I think what that brings to the team is just the experience of seeing how even more professional teams or larger teams run on a daily basis. Uh, the way we do setups, the way we control data, the way I'm coaching him, because really we're prepping him for the next level all the time. When we move up a level, we're prepping him for the next one again. So, you know, hopefully pretty soon we'll see him in cars. My big accomplishments that I've won is maybe the Canadian Nationals. Um, I've won a few Florida Winter Tour races on my first races in junior from moving up from Minimax. And we've just won a bunch of races in Minimax. Like we win the ECKC Karting Championship, Coupe de Montréal, and a few others. I'd like to thank all my fans and my teammates, like Tyler, Damon, Jerome, Lee, Clark, Catherine, Scott, Zoe, Taylor, Lloyd, and you two for filming me. Awesome. Thank you.
If you want to know more about Zachary, check out his website right here. And if you want to, you can also go on his Facebook page, which should be right here between my hands. And you can click on that right now and it'll take you out to Facebook and you can like him. Great kid, starting out. We, <laughs> I'm so glad I got to meet him now today. Hopefully we'll get to see him again another day and see how he's progressing. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're going to be bringing more racer profiles like this to you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Favorite and like it down below. Let's show Zachary some of that love and let's see if we can get some more subscribers. Thanks for watching Speed Freak TV.